Hey, how you guys doing? It's me, Mr. Fork Upscaler. Okay, so we're going to do a comparison here. We're going to look at a 4K version of a Jurassic Park, which you are looking at right now, on 65-inch Samsung KS8000 versus a Blu-ray version. Uh, please do keep in mind, this is an old movie, 25 years ago. And it was shot in 35mm Panavision camera. So it's pretty much the same camera Spielberg used on Amistad, used on Schindler's List, and next to his movies like Saving Private Ryan. Okay, so I just want to kind of keep that in, in mind. So there is going to be a little bit of grain. You're going to see a little bit of that grain, but it's a vivid grain, meaning there is a depth of vision on the movie. It's an excellent transfer for a movie that's 25 years ago. And we'll talk about how higher bit rate and high dynamic range definitely helps this movie. Not to mention that 8.3 million pixels that upscale this format, this 2K format into a 4K with those 8.3 million pixels. So that even makes it even more sharper. But HDR, it's a definitely... Uh, one example where 4K, it's always going to win over Blu-ray. You got that high dynamic range and a higher bit rate with the 8.3 million pixels from a 2K intermediate into a 4K. So we're going to do that example here. Let's go switch to a, a scene really quick here. This is maybe not the best example, so I'm going to switch to a better example. All right, so what you're looking at right now, this is a Blu-ray version. Now, for a Blu-ray, this is pretty good. For a 1080p upscale to 4K, this is a pretty good transfer for a Blu-ray, considering how old this movie is. So if you have a Blu-ray version, you're still going to experience this movie, okay? However, not having that higher bit rate, not having that high dynamic range, you definitely notice that. Now, let's go switch with this exact same scene. Let's go switch to a Blu-ray version in about a uh, 4K version. I'm sorry. This is the uh, standard Blu-ray version. Let's go switch to a 4K version of a movie right here, right now, in about three seconds. One, two, three. So here we are with a 4K version. Now, the 4K version, the first thing I notice is that the red color, it's more uh, vibrant. The green uh, leaves out there and the forest, it's more visible. His shades with the uh, gold outline, the, the leather seat, uh, everything becomes more natural. That's because now you got a high dynamic range that balances that contrast and the deep dark digital levels with a wide color gamut, especially this TV that has a full wide color gamut. So now the color becomes even better. But let's go switch to another scene really quick. So here we are on the, uh, the Blu-ray version. Blu-ray version obviously doesn't have high dynamic range, so you're losing that full wide color gamut, you're losing that contrast ratio, uh, you're losing that vibrance and, and, and deep depth of picture quality so you're losing that however you are still getting a decent uh, transfer for blu-ray this is still a great transfer considering how old this movie is so blu-ray it's 1080p and it looks good upscaled but you know not having that higher bit rate not having that hdr it's just you notice how much of that quality you're losing. But it's still good. Blu-ray is still good. But it just can't be as, as great as the uh, 4K in HDR. So let's switch to, with the same scene here, let's switch to a 4K HDR version. Let me go ahead let me change that and put in the same 20 uh, minutes, 15 seconds, same scene, uh, in about 3 seconds. 1, 2... Three, and here we are with the HDR version, and of course HDR 4K 
brings you that wide color gamut and it pops here especially with this television that has over 1000 peak brightness nit and then you add that full white color gamut and this is a dramatic difference that you get uh, this is why i always recommend people buy a 4k version because with a 4k version you get blu-ray disc anyway so you're not missing out but yes 4k has a higher bit rate has a full white collar gamut HDR so there's of course the movie is gonna be better experienced on a 4k version not to mention a DTSX even on this CGI shot uh, for a movie that's 25 years old this is still great uh, this is still a great transfer the colors really pop HDR helps guys and this is the reason why people need to understand, even for an old movie like this, that's 25 years, that HDR still helps. That higher bit rate on a 4K disc still helps enhance and sharpen that picture quality. And even on this shot, I went to the uh, Blu-ray version at 21 minutes, 24 seconds. Uh, Blu-ray still looks good. Don't get me wrong. You guys can do this for yourself. You always get a Blu-ray version, copy of a Blu-ray version available when you buy a 4K movie. So you can do these tests yourself as well. But I'm here to tell you, Blu-ray still looks good. It's a, it's a good transfer, but not having that high dynamic range, not having that 8.3 million pixels that are being implemented and mastered from 2K to 4K with a higher bit rate, you know, it, it, that's something you're losing. On a 4K version, you're getting that higher bit rate, meaning sharper image, 4K master from the 2K intermediate, and then you're getting that high dynamic range. So that makes this movie even better. Not to mention the audio, the DTSX. So let's jump into a uh, 4K HDR version in about uh, three seconds. One, two, three. And here is the uh, 4K HDR version. You guys cannot see it, but I see it. It's just the color pops better. Uh, there's a better depth of picture. You know, in the distance, you see things more vivid, more sharper. So it looks better on the 4K HDR because of that HDR and the higher bit rate. It's really two things, guys. Higher bit rate and high dynamic range. All right, so here we are on the Blu-ray version. Uh, Blu-ray version right here. It's like I said, still looks good, but not having that high dynamic range, it, it really... Uh, it shows you just how much you're missing. And of course, the higher bit rate, which also gives a more vivid imagery. Obviously, you guys cannot see that vivid imagery that I can see through uh, my eyes. But yes, not having that HDR and not having that higher bit rate, it's definitely something you're losing on a uh, Blu-ray version. And you also are losing that lossless DTS-X uh, surround sound that's encoded to an even higher bit uh, bit rate on audio higher decibels if you will so let me go ahead and switch to uh, the same scene 2140 right here 21 minutes 40 seconds and let's check out the uh, 4k HDR blu-ray version I specifically chose these scenes because they are during the day so let's go and switch to a 4k blu-ray version in about three seconds one, two, three. And here we are on the 4K HDR. You guys can't see it, but I see it clearly. And uh, the first thing that strikes me is the white collar gamut, uh, peak brightness, all of that stuff. It's more balanced. It looks more natural. And uh, this is why you want to go with the uh, 4K HDR version. So yes, for a movie that's 25 years old, this is an excellent, excellent uh, transfer. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching.